how do I want to get to platinum? Do I want to get to platinum playing every role? Do I want to get to platinum playing top lane? Do I want to get to platinum playing jungle, support, XYZ? Whatever it is, you need to have the conversation with yourself and answer that question for you. Because before you answer that question, no matter what the answer is, it's going to be really hard for you to climb because you don't have a strategy. I've probably said this like a hundred times. A lot of other League of Legends coaches say this. The fastest way to climb in League of Legends statistically is to one trick. However, most people do not want to play League of Legends by just playing one champion on repeat over and over again. If you're one of those players who gets bored of playing one champion or even just playing one role, this profile view is basically going to show you step by step exactly how you need to build your strategy for 2023 in order to play all the champions you want and play any role you want whenever you want, but the strategy is going to allow you to climb while having fun, which is something a lot of people struggle to separate. So in today's profile review, we're going to be breaking down exactly how to do that. And you can see there, there's a couple of hints to what the video is going to go through. Now, before we get into this profile review, if you're interested in getting your own OP.GG review, just like the one we're about to go through, please check out the links in the description below. Let's get into the video. So currently you are gold four with a 46% win rate over around 200 games. And you said your goal rank is to get to gold four, but I'm going to assume for this call, uh, you're wanting to get to plat, which is about the top 12 uh, to 15% in EU West at the moment. So let's use that as uh, the guide for this thing. Now, the five things I'm going to be talking about today in your profile review are your ranked identity, uh, a two account strategy, which is what I recommend for all players who are serious about climbing, but they also have a big champion pool or they like to have fun and play different champions in different roles. Um, what role selection you need to focus on in order to climb to platinum, what champions within that role you should be maining, and finally, how to start improving your champions once you've got your climbing pool figured out. So the first one is your ranked identity, and this is something you've already raised on your own, but really this account is just all over the place. I can see Yone with a 23% win rate, Yasuo with a 41, Hecarim with a 65. You've got Vayne games in here. So you're playing jungle, then um, it looks like um, you started in top lane or mid lane, and now you've pivoted to jungle. So this is what comes back or down to ranked identity, and this is something you need to answer for yourself. You need to go, okay, so my goal is to get to platinum. What role, like how do I want to get to platinum? Do I want to get to platinum playing every role? Do I want to get to platinum playing top lane? Do I want to get to platinum playing jungle, support, XYZ? Whatever it is, you need to have the conversation with yourself and answer that question for you. Because before you answer that question, no matter what the answer is, it's going to be really hard for you to climb because you don't have a strategy. That question and that answer will create your entire ranked strategy for as long as that answer remains the same for you. So that could be six months, that could be 12 months, that could be for the rest of the, your life that you play League of Legends. But you need to answer that question and I can't do that for you. I can just tell you that you need to do it. So that's the first one. And when you're asking yourself that question, don't worry about things like, oh, this YouTube video said Hecarim's busted, or I watched Tarzan and he's a grave, he's really good at graves, so I, I'm going to play graves, or oh, you can't carry as a support, or this champion sucks in this meta, or this patch, he just got nerfed. No, the two things you need to focus on when figuring out your ranked identity and when asking that question, how do you want to climb to your goal rank, is are you having fun? And are you good at the champion? If you can answer those two questions, then you are on the right path, you've picked the right role, and you have chosen the right champions. That is the most important thing you need to do. And if you don't get anything else out of this profile view except for that, well then, I've at least done half of my job and the majority of the job that you need to do in order to get to platinum. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is the two account strategy. And this is something that's increased in popularity a lot because a lot of players like yourself do not want to pigeonhole themselves. They don't want a one trick. They don't want a two trick. They don't just want to play one role for six, 12 months. They get bored. 
and they want to diversify. Maybe they want to learn new champs. Maybe they just want to have fun or maybe they want to learn a new role because they think they're going to um, enjoy that role more. Whatever the reason, players are more and more going towards a two ranked account strategy. And in simple terms, what it is, is you have one account for climbing and you have one account for everything else. So your climbing account is the account that you want to get to your goal rank. So platinum in your case, and you're only playing your best champions on this account. Think of it like your A team. You've got your A team, you've got your B team. Your A team is the champions that you play that you have a history on where you can maintain at least a 55% win rate in ranked on them over at least 20 to 30 to 40 games. That is the criteria you need to use for your main account that you're gonna use for climbing. The second account is your learning account or the account that you do everything else on. So you play with friends, uh, you try that new champion, you play that different role, uh, you try that new build. And it's basically your sandbox or your testing ground. So you're testing new theories, you're making sure you're not getting bored or burnt out. You're using this second account as like an escape from your main account when you may be feeling anxious or you don't want to play that champ today, even though you know he's your best champ, you want to try something new. That's what that second account is for. And the reason we do this is so that we do not ruin our MMR and we do not become hard stuck. So when we split our accounts, we have the one account for climbing and statistically, if we're playing our highest win rate champions on that account, as long as we can maintain at least a 55% overall win rate on that account, we can climb to whatever rank you need to climb to. And then your second account is for everything else. So that is the two ranked account strategy in a nutshell. And that is what I'd highly recommend for you, a player who has an issue with playing too many champions, playing too many roles. I don't want you to stop that. I know a lot of coaches would say, no, stop that. You need a one trick, you need a two trick. But I understand you wanna play League differently to the most optimal way to play League of Legends. The most optimal way to play League of Legends statistically is to one trick. However, not many people actually want to do that. I don't play League of Legends like that. I know that's the best way to climb, but that's not how I want to play. And so I wanted to develop a strategy that works for people who don't want to just one trick or two trick or main one champion for the rest of their lives. Awesome. So once you've set up your ranked identity, once you know the two account strategy and you've got both your accounts, you've decided this one's for climbing, this one's for learning. The third thing you need to think about is what role are you going to play on your main climbing account? And this might take you a month to figure out. Maybe you need to take a break from this account, get on that Smurf account, that second account, and just play and figure out what is my best champions and what do I have the most fun on? and then use those champions and that role as your climbing strategy. And there you've got it. And then once you're ready, you transition that champion pool and that role over to your main account. So maybe it is jungle, but right now your Silas isn't there yet. Maybe your Hecarim is, your Hecarim's very close to being good enough and so is your Yi. So for example, for your case, I would say, go to your second account, let's get 20 games on at least Hecarim and Yi, or if you're like, I just want to play Hecarim, I just want to play Yi. But ideally, you know, one trick, two trick, because you do like a lot of champions. So let's do two, both those champs. Get to 20 games on them and see what your win rate is. If it's at least 55%, cool. Bring them over to this account and start playing them. And then that's the same as champion selection. You can choose the champions. I see you've got a bit of potential on your Yasuo. I mean, even your Vayne here has some potential. Low volume of games though, so I wouldn't really recommend that. But if I was you personally, I'm like, I want to climb to platinum relatively quickly on a role I seem to be enjoying, as well as on champions that I'm good at. It looks like your Hecarim and your Yi in the jungle are your best chance. I would say drop the Silas, drop the Echo, and just focus on Hecarim and Yi. You do not need to overcomplicate your champion pool. You're in gold. You're trying to get to platinum. You do not need to think about champion matchups, counter picks, all those kind of things until you get to like Diamond 1. Don't even worry about it. Just play your champion. There is a one trick in Masters, Grandmasters, or Challenger for every single champion in the game. And what that means is... Yes, you don't need to worry about the matchup because if you're good enough on your champion, you can climb to whatever rank you want to get to. Now, the final thing I want to talk about is once you've got all that set up, Muhammad, you need to start thinking about, well, okay, how can I improve my champion? So I've got my champion pool and they're averaging this win rate. Well, how do I improve that win rate? And this is where 
coaching comes into play. This is where you need some kind of one-on-one -on -one feedback. And there's basically three ways to improve your chant mastery. There's doing it on your own. So watching free resources like YouTube videos, all those kind of things, one trick streamers, et cetera, et cetera. There is working with a friend. So if you've got a high ELO friend who's maybe in platinum or diamond and they're willing to help you, get them to watch your VODs with you, get them to give you tips, get them to show you what you're doing wrong. And then there's the third way, you get a coach, a paid coach like myself, who's helped hundreds of gold players climb to platinum. And I basically show you the roadmap of how you need to go from gold four to platform, what you need to do to go from gold four to gold three, to gold two, to gold one, the exact strategy that I've used for hundreds of other players. So, Muhammad, if you're interested in learning more about that, please, once you've watched this, reach out to me on Discord and we can set up a call where I can talk about everything I've discussed in this profile of you, if, answer any of your questions and talk more about what a personalized coaching solution could look like for you and your goals in 2023. So I hope you enjoy this profile review and please, once you've watched this, reach out to me. Always ch ch cheers and good luck on the rift.